guys. Today is going to be a little different. We're not going to do anything uh, with the farm or farm related. Um, it rained last night. We even had tornado threats. Um, the wind was crazy. This morning went outside. Everything's you know blown all over the yard. Anyway, got everything picked up. Like I said, it was loud. It was noisy. Um, everything is muddy. Really can't do anything outside today. All the chores are done. The breeding is uh, finished. Copper bolusing the girls. Uh, annual testing. Uh, we've already received uh, some of the tests back from the girls. And so today I was just going to get in my office and try to do some cleaning and sorting. It's been long overdue and Teresa is also cleaning and sorting her office. So that's what we're going to do today. But <clears throat> in, the, uh, in the process of cleaning and sorting, I've uh, decided to share with you techies out there um, my computers that I used to use. Well, I mean, I used to use them till currently, of course, but um, I'm, I'm getting ready to update and upgrade, a major upgrade compared to what I've been doing and using. I thought I would make a quick video and, and, uh, and share with you guys the computers that I'm, I'm getting ready to recycle. In another life, I was a graphic designer. Um, I, uh, I started in 1993. Um, I started with a, uh, a small luxury RV company um, designing their paint schemes. Um, and then I, things didn't work out with them. I ended up starting my own business, uh, doing quite a bit of work for the company that I ended up going to work for because I decided to exit the bus industry and uh, go to work for them. And then I worked for them for a while and then I ended up uh, actually getting a contract with that company. That company was uh, Marathon Coach. And so in another life, I was a graphic designer um, for years. That's what I did for an occupation. Before that, I had a construction background. And so when people ask me, I have a construction and a graphic design background because I, I worked in graphic design longer than I did construction, of course. And in fact, my title was graphic designer slash paint artist. I designed for a company uh, called Marathon Coach Corp. And uh, that was in Oregon. Well, they manufactured, they manufactured uh, bus conversions. And my responsibility, my primary responsibility was to create the paint schemes for these coaches. Now, at one time when we were rocking and rolling, we were doing 73 units a year. Okay, now that's that's quite a bit. So I've I've cranked out a lot of work. But in addition to the paint schemes, I also designed window styles, front door appliques, shower door designs, sculpted rug designs, ceiling treatments, sales presentations, show promotional work. Um, I did it all, and you golf carts, offshore boats, tow cars, trailers, hospitality trailers, you name it. Anything that they were into, I was into, because they came to me with the work for a design. <clears throat> and so that's what I did. Say, how in the world did you do all that? How did you have time to do that? Well, folks, I was a workaholic. And that's what I did. And at the same time that all this was going on and when I had this workload, and I basically did it to myself because I took on everything because I had a contract with Marathon Coach. And I had first right of refusal. So it wasn't just in their production 
but also their service. So I took, I took on all of the clients, I took on all the spec units, all the production uh, stuff went through me, all the service, strip, repaint, whatever, it went through me. Because I wasn't just a graphic designer, but I was also a paint artist. Uh, created lots of murals, did, I don't know, hundreds of, if not, well, hundreds anyway, what we're talking about. The last count, I think I did 660-some one-of-a-kind paint schemes. So I did a lot of work. Um, <clears throat> when I had my own business, I was doing some of Marathon's work through another contractor. And there was also a Monaco coach at the time uh, that I was doing all their service work when I had my own business. So you meet a lot of people, a lot of leads. One thing leads to another and pretty soon you, you've got more work than you can handle. Um, I also painted Harley motorcycles. So I got to the point where I needed help. So what I would do was design them. I had people that would work for me. I did all kinds of different textures and uh, marble and granite samples and uh, beveling and muraling, hidden graphics. Now you see it, now you don't stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, I designed. But anyways, these computers, like I said, I didn't want to get into all this, but that's what I mean. I could almost make another video with just this information. Uh, these computers were workhorses and um, anyways when that all came to a head and when that all ended and Marathon decided that they didn't want to renew my contract they wanted me to move back and work for them again um, I told them no and we extended the contract for I don't know it was six months or a year or something like that in the meantime uh, I just, I'd already made up my mind, we're going to stay in California, we're not going to move back to Oregon. And I would service that account twice a month and until my contract was done. And then I left Marathon. Um, things didn't work out in California. Things with Marathon weren't working out either. I wasn't going to move back to Oregon. And anyway, some things came up. I'm not going to go into all of that either, but we decided to move. We had always uh, visited Oklahoma, lived in California, visited Oklahoma. Even as a child, I did that. Um, we made the decision to move to Oklahoma. And so I did that, and with my construction background, I started doing construction work, and that's when my accident happened. Oklahoma and my whole paradigm changed as far as work I mean that's all I knew was work and that's all I did was work and now being disabled uh, was not able to uh, do the things that I was able to before um, I have to have these crutches these sticks I call them um, I went through several sets of sticks now um, I wear them out. I just wear them out. I'm, I'm on them. I favor one over the other. Anyways, I'm not going to go there either. Uh, anyways, again, sorry I went long. Uh, really, like, like I said, I'd have to do another video just to get you guys all up to speed on everything that was involved in that time frame. But okay guys this is my g4 workhorse right here this thing has designed thousands of projects um, I'm not even gonna go into everything that it's done um, very very happy with it was uh, was able to purchase this g5 uh, kind of as a well kind of a companion and they work they work together and they talk together because I was afraid that that the G4 would crash on me eventually and then I'd be able to 
you know, focus everything on the G5. Well, I built this G5 computer and I put in extra RAM. Um, this thing will still come on and it will still uh, design, but you can't do any software updates, upgrades, you can't, you can't update the motherboard, you can't do anything with this, so it's gonna have to go away. This is the Wacom tablet. Anybody that knows anything about graphic design, this is what you use to, uh, to uh, create with. It's very, very handy when it worked. There came a point when this was no longer compatible. Um, something broke in, it wasn't able to update, and it just didn't work anymore. And uh, very, very cool tool, and uh, used it a lot. Designed thousands of things on this thing right here. <clears throat> this is an old keyboard right here that came with it. Look at that, that cord, the USB and everything on it. I mean, it's old school, buddy. Old school. This is the G5. And this is the G4. This was my workhorse. When I first started, I got this first. And I uh, always thought this was kind of cool. Never had a real need for it to work, but never needed to get inside it for really any for really any reason except to uh, replace graphic card and which I updated. Uh, it's got another hard drive in it, which you know back in the day this thing was a screamer. But yeah, take a look at that. Here's the hard drive that we're going to be pulling out. And I'm not going to go into all of that. You know, you can look at videos on how to remove a hard drive. All I'm doing is showing you uh, the computer and... Well, I'm going to destroy the disk because I don't want anybody to have, you know, any access to any of the information. So when I had the contract with Marathon, I had to sign a five-year no competition clause, of course, because all of the information that is on my computer that was shared with their computers is proprietary because everything that I created for them, they didn't want getting out. So I'm going to destroy uh, these these uh, hard drive discs. Yeah, it was a pain, but not enough of a pain to buy something else when it's working fine. So I, uh, I wasn't working for a company anymore. I was working for myself, freelancing, and it was working fine, so I kept working with it. It's obsolete and not even worth a bone anchor right now because I can't back it up, I can't do anything with it. So I'm gonna take the hard drive out it's already backed up. Uh, in fact, all of these machines are backed up. These are the, the plates that's inside the hard drive that we're going to destroy. So I'm going to get all these plates together and we're going to do something fun. So I designed and painted uh, buses. <clears throat> this is this is actually. Uh, one that's kind of special to me because this is the first bus that I painted in my shop. Designed and painted, I might add. This is me on my bike. Well, before I sold my bike, of course, but this is supposed to be me going through uh, on 101 up the coastline. <laughs> Never finished the painting. Just uh, stopped right there. If you think I should, leave me a note in the comments. But anyways, for anybody that was interested, um, that's the G4. This is the G5 tower right here. Uh, absolute workhorse. I had 3D modeling software installed on this and it rendered like a boss. Um, it was able to, uh, like I said, sustain my graphic designing till currently. <laughs> and uh, now the iPad Pro has more speed and more capability and memory than any of these. But it's kind of impressive that they've lasted this long. I'm going to be purchasing an iMac or a Mac Mini. 
I think I'm leaning more towards the iMac. Um, I like the idea of it all in, you know, all in one. The computer and monitor as one, and it comes with the mouse keyboard. The Mac Mini, uh, not so much. You've got separate components which you build, which I guess that's okay. I feel like I'm leaning towards the iMac, but if you guys have any suggestions, um, you've used the iMac or you've used the Mac Mini before, and maybe you could share your your uh, experience with it. Um, I feel like I can justify the purchase. I've uh, designed, you know, off and on when people ask me, um, of course, and then on our own stuff. And so uh, I like to do website design as well. And so I've, I've done a few websites, um, including ours. I've done all of the artwork, the logo design, all, you know, of course, all of that. I've also uh, I did all of the covers for our videos, so I, I have a need and I have a justification for the uh, expense of a new computer and upgrade like this. I I like I like doing this, um, you know, if I can stay concentrating. I, I have so many different interests. Um, I like to, you know, draw and sketch, paint, and everything too, and um, you know. Hopefully this winter when everything really settles down before the kidding season and everything, I'll, I'll probably get back into all of that too. But anyway, I just wanted to share uh, basically about the computers and um, the fact that, you know, they lasted, they lasted, you know, all those years. I mean, think about, think about the upgrades, the patches, all of the, all of the things that a computer goes through uh, in its lifetime. You know, and um, the OS updates. I mean, all of all of those things that uh, I skipped. I skipped all that because my computers wouldn't upgrade in the first place. But I built these computers um, so well, I guess, um, with you know, memory, RAM, you know, all of the things that it needed graphics card upgrades, um, you know, everything that it needed so that it would perform. Uh, to the level that it has till presently. I thought it was pretty impressive. Maybe any techies out there would uh, would enjoy, uh, you know, sharing my experience and my uh, my uh, my computers um, that have served me so well for so many years. And now it's it's uh, bittersweet. It's it's kind of sad to see them go because there's definitely a nostalgic um, quality uh, about these machines to me and an emotional attachment almost not not maybe emotional but um, anyways they've, they've, they've worked well and they've served me well and kind of kind of went down memory lane with you guys um, with uh, the history behind it all if you like this uh, like it, comment, share, uh, subscribe, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you, if you like the, uh, the content that you are seeing here, um, you know, keep looking at us and, and, uh, think that everything is going to, uh, improve when I get my new equipment. Thanks for looking at it. See you guys next time. Bye.